listeners, Music Talk listeners. I am your host, Brittany O'Rourke, as you know, and I want to thank you all again for tuning in to Music Talk. You guys, the show gets better and better, and I have funnier guests and crazier guests, and the guests that I have today, you, the bar is kind of raised a little bit because uh, they are getting really, really good. I'm just kidding. He has a very engaging personality, and you guys are going to love this segment. Speaking of segments, this segment is brought to you today by the Publicity and Advertising Division of American Advertising Services. Um, For free advertising help with your small business, medium-sized business, whichever it is, they are definitely the people to go to. Give them a call, 484-562-0060. Again, that's 484-562-0060. Six zero, And that's American Advertising Services. Great company to work with. They're great with working with you. You guys, today, 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 I am interviewing a young man by the name of John Smitherman. And he is from across the bridge over in New Jersey. <laughs> Hello, John. How are you today? How are you? I feel so good. What about you? Fine. Can't it, complain. It, it feels like fall outside. Oh, it's definitely fall. What's up with that? I don't know. It's October. It's supposed to be 80 degrees, right? Is it? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, We're yeah, not down right. south. Yeah, I'm, sorry. I'm not in Florida oh, yeah, anymore. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> so John is from the Broadway Theater of Pittman, you guys. If you have not gone over there, you've got to go check it out. It's not far. It's right across the bridge. You know how it goes. And he has a very interesting story of how he even got in with them. So, John, you've got to st- share your story. Share your story. Share your story. <laughs> you've got to share your story with the people. You were found by the managing director. Yes. It was... Um, I had a, a smaller uh, theater company, which I do still run, called the Laugh Out Loud Theater Company. Comedy. Uh, uh, yeah, we do comedies, um, a lot of original comedies. And um, and then we also I also have a um, Places Please Productions, which we do original musical reviews. Oh, wow. And, and uh, yeah, we were doing a one of my reviews called All I Ask of You. Mm-hmm. And... Um, the managing director for the Broadway Theater, Pittman, happened to come and see it. And afterwards, he came up to me and he said, this is the type of show and the type of talent that we want at our theater. Wow. And I asked him, well, what's your theater? And at the time, I had no idea. I've never heard of the Broadway Theater of Pittman. Uh-huh. And he asked if we would do the show there. And I said, sure, can I go and look at the Facility. theater, the space? Yeah, yeah. And I went. It was an amazing theater. It's, it's, I just can't even say enough about it. It's, it was built in 1926. Wow. And it was refurbished seven years ago. It was going to be torn down. Uh huh. But Peter Slack and his uh, uh, corporation and everything, they, he was born and raised there in Pittman, and he just was like, no, this has to stay. Oh. And so he put millions of dollars in it and had it refurbished, kept it with its original 1926 look, um, but has brought in state-of-the-art equipment, lights, and sound. And um, it's just an amazing theater to, to be in as an audience member and to perform yeah. there on it's a thousand-seat theater Whatever, uh-huh. I digress. Uh-huh. So anyhow, I, I immediately saw the theater and said, sure, I'll, I'll do that. Yeah. And, um, and then we went in there, we did the show, and then shortly after that, they were, um, I don't know how to put it, having some problems or, or not happy with their current artistic director. And, These improvements, and, and, that's cool. Yeah, and they, I think they were wanting to bump up the, the caliber of productions. Absolutely. I don't know. They need some upgrades. And, Let's upgrade yeah, this thing. Yeah, new face yes, or something. Yes. And so they, they asked me to come on in. And so that's when I started as artistic director there in January. Wow. It was just a series of perfect timing. Wow. Um, so you scoped out the place. You liked what you saw. Did you have a vision as an artistic director? You came in and you said, okay, now I see what's going on. This is what I see in the future. This is what I'll be doing. Um, yes, I, I definitely wanted to continue the um, the type of shows that they do. The the Which older, uh, more uh, well known shows like we just recently did, Sound of Music and Hairspray, uh, Showboat. Wow! And the, the, yeah, and good and those, shows yeah, over there. Yeah, wow. the, the goody oldies but goodies. Right. And then we've got Forty Second coming up, Forty Second Street. Oh, classic. And, you know, so I definitely wanted to keep that because those are my favorites as well. Right, I right. like that. And our, our clientele, our season subscription subscribers, wow. they um, they like those type of shows too. How can how can you um, gain more subscribers? Do I just go on the website and like how does that go? Uh, yes, uh, you, you can go right onto the website, which is www dot Actually, that's incorrect. 
Please take that off of your memory banks. It's www. Pittman Broadway <laughs> Theater. We'll go back to that. www.pittmanbroadwaytheater.com. Awesome. So we'll just go on the website. That's awesome. Check it out. <clears throat> Subscribe. Perfect. You've got some crazy shows that you just wrapped up recently. Successful. Yes, what is it we did uh, How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying, which um, which is a, a great um show it's 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 stood the test of time most recently had a, a revival with um uh radcliffe what's that is that his name the, oh uh, yeah the uh, um harry, harry potter, potter. Yeah, yes yeah. yes he he did and then the jonas brother one of the jonas brothers took over for Shut him up. for a little bit and wow. uh but prior to that there was a revival about 15 years ago and it was matthew broderick in the wow the, wow the, the finch. Yeah. that's good stuff yeah so it's it stood the test of time and then i i believe we were one of the first if not the first theater theaters to do it since it it had its revival this earlier this year wow so, yeah. so what's coming up now we're in october ah when, and then november's coming yeah, and then the no, holidays let's talk yes. about it november 1st through the 24th we have the Toe Tapping 42nd Street, another oh, classic. Iconic musical. Yes. Four time Tony Awards. Yes, correct. Oh. You know your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I do, don't I? Yes. So, um, I so yeah, that too had gone through a series of uh, revivals and such. It was originally done in 1980. And, um, and in, uh, like in 2001, uh, they did a revival and it had. Remember Shirley Jones? Yes. Yeah, Shirley Jones it was the uh, the part of Dorothy Brock and her son, Patrick Cassidy. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. not not to be confused with uh, David Cassidy from Patrick. the Partridge Family, right. <laughs> but the, her other son. He played Julian Marsh, which is the male lead of the show. So wow. it was like all in the family back then. That's cool. Um, That's yeah. really cool. And then there was another revival after that, and so forth. So it's it too. Yay. Like I said, it's stood to. The Test of Time on Broadway. The Broadway Theater of Pittman holding it down. Mm-hmm. Tickets can be purchased online, I'm sure. So yes. do, do people need to go ahead and be purchasing tickets or do they have a little time? Are these the type of shows that sell out quick? Um, they they do sell very, very well. Yeah. And we have a large season subscription base. And awesome. so they, they fill a lot of seats right there. And yeah. then we have um, more and more walk-ups that are coming to the shows now. Uh, oh, wow, okay. Yeah, the word has really gotten out to Philadelphia about this theater. So we get a lot of people that never heard of us before Yay. that have the, the last several months are now starting to come and see our shows. Very nice. And, and, and then they're becoming season subscription. Wow, so there it goes. Yeah. Exactly. There it goes. How many people um, can be seated in this theater? Uh, 1,001. Wow, yeah. and and one more. Now, does that have to be a small person, large person? Yeah, the the extra little. seat has to be a mini person. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, it's all that's shapes mean. and sizes. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Without that's a pretty big theater. Yeah, it's wow. it's really it's amazing, and it's one of these things where if you drive by and you see the marquee, uh-huh. you're like, oh, that looks like a cute little theater. But if you walk in, uh-huh. it's got a, a nice vintage. Uh, lobby yeah. with a little concession stand that yeah, sells the popcorn, popcorn, popcorn and candy and sodas. And then you go through these double doors, or it's actually it's four doors, and make a hard left, uh-huh. and it's this gigantic wow. thousand-seat bi-level theater. Wow. Yeah, it's awesome. Oh, that is awesome. That That is so awesome. I love it. So people really recognize the music on 42nd Street, right? Oh, sure. Yes. So give us a little bit of that. Um, I, I understand that you, you're a singer. Or <laughs> you have. <clears throat> she has been a singer. Opera, right? Well, my start was in opera, but then the majority of my career was with the, the musical theater, Broadway-type music. You started on the stage yourself. I did. So you're really doing what you love. I am. I, 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 I really am. It's, it's, a, it's a wonderful place, and, and we, we do some great shows. Yay. So it's a nice feeling. So you get the best of both worlds, behind the scene, front, I like you've do. done it all. I do. Awesome, awesome. But answering your question, there, um, the songs from that are obviously the title song of 40 Seconds, right, 42nd Street. Right, 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 right. And there's a like, lullaby of Broadway. Broadway, Shuffle Off the Buffalo, um, okay. We're in the Money. Everybody knows that. We're in the okay. money. Yes, absolutely. That's so, not how I normally sound, uh, yeah, by the yeah. way. That was pretty bad, actually. <laughs> um, yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but 42nd Street, that's November 1st through the 24th. You guys, that's four weekends in November. 
You've got an opportunity to go out there. Make sure that you do. This will be at the Broadway Theater of Pittman. That's in Pittman, New Jersey, right across the waters. It's cool. It's nice. It's not Philly, so I'm sure we don't have problems parking. Oh, right? there is absolutely tons of parking. Yes. Yes, free yes. parking. Very nice. Yeah. Love it. So you got a nice little lineup for 2014, I'm sure. Yeah. we've. Um, I'm excited about it. Uh, started, well, right after 42nd Street, we're doing our holiday show, which is a it's an original, you know, if you want to sound – Great. It's the world premiere world of this premiere. musical called Holiday Bells of Broadway. How cute. Yes. I like that. Yes. Written and directed by John D. Smitherman. <gasps> Shut up. No relation. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, no, it's, it's a wonderful, that. wonderful show. Um, oh, I, I mean, it hasn't Clearly. been done yet, but it, I, Clearly it, it's, be- it's a fun show, and I, I know we're – Everyone's going to enjoy it. And that's yeah. going to run for the first three weekends of December, so December 6th to the 22nd. Yeah. And uh, those are usually – those do sell out. Really? I will say our, our holiday shows are uh, – they always sell out. So yeah, Of course. That's the family stuff. Yeah. You go out. You bring the kids. Yeah. But our 2014 season uh, in January will start off with Cats. What? Can you believe really? that? Andrew Lloyd Webber's Cats. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. That's such yeah. a good one. We're excited about that. And followed by the uh, um, comedy The Foreigner, which really? is a really, really fun comedy. I've seen it a few times and get it over and do it. And yeah. So we're, we're doing that. Um, then a little known show called South Pacific. South Pacific. Yes. Uh, Rogers and Hammerstein. We always do exactly. a Rogers and Hammerstein in our season. That's At least that's what fun. I'm trying to do. And um, You've got so it, many. Like, classic. Do you have a favorite? <clears throat> a favorite show? Yeah. Ah. That's a good well, question, I, right? I, Yes. I think I do. And it's in our season coming up. Really? Because after um, South Pacific, then we'll be doing Do Black Patent Leather Shoes Really Reflect Up, which is a cute musical. Uh-huh. And then... Jekyll and Hyde, Ooh. just in time for the uh, for Halloween. Absolutely, and that is a a personal favorite of mine. Oh, that's good yeah. stuff. Good yeah. stuff. Good and stuff. and then finishing the season will be the Pirates of Penzance, which okay. is a Gilbert and Sullivan operetta. It'll be the first time it's been done or anything like that has been done on our stage. Wow! So yeah. give me an idea. I'm in Philly, and I, honestly, I haven't been to Pittman, New Jersey yet. Where Where am I going? Okay, you you would go. I guess over the Walt Whitman Bridge. Okay. And it's uh, it's South Jersey. Um, I'd say about 20 minutes. Really? It's really easy. It's so easy. You're just staying on that, which is what, 76, 276? Uh-huh. Um, 76. Okay. And then you eventually get on to 55, and then it's off of 55. And it's, it's right there. You'll see it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. It's amazing that it was like the best kept secret for <laughs> like – since it reopened seven years ago. Wow. And it's literally just now is the word is getting out and people yes. are starting to know that this is a, a yes. legitimate theater. Yes. With great talent. Music Talk listeners, you heard it first. The Broadway Theater of Pittman, right in Pittman, New Jersey, bringing us crazy good things. 42nd Street, Hairspray, the very best of Elvis. We'll talk about it more. We're going to take a break right now and we'll give you a little bit more with John Smitherman shortly. We're a Philadelphia advertising agency, American Advertising Services, and our job is to create solutions for your business problems. Do you want more customers, more sales for your products or business services? American Advertising has helped many, many area companies, large ones, small ones, family-owned firms just like yours. If you are in business and serious, make American Advertising your advertising agency. Per job assignments welcomed, American Advertising Services. We are serious about helping your business. American Advertising Services is located at 29 Bala Avenue, Bala Kinwood, PA, 19004. 29 Bala Avenue, Bala Kinwood, PA, 19004. You can call them at 484-562-0060, 484-562-0060, 484-562-0060. Into rock and roll? Then visit Philadelphia's Hard Rock Cafe. 
Enjoy the huge menu and especially view the memorabilia. There's the legendary Jim Morrison jacket acquired from Danny Sugarman, manager of the Doors. Then see the guitar that John Mayo created. He played with Eric Clapton. Elton John's Uncle Sam costume. Shakira's leather pants. The list goes on. Memorabilia from Jimi Hendrix and Joan Jett. Come in for lunch or dinner or enjoy a cocktail at the Hard Rock Cafe Bar. The Hard Rock Cafe, 12th and Market Streets in Philadelphia. It's an experience. Also hosting corporate events, social gatherings, bar and bat mitzvahs. Hard Rock Cafe is C-O-O-L. Cool. 12th and Market Street, 215 215- 2380639 12th and Market Street in Philadelphia. It's new, a grand music venue in the heart of the main line. Now open, see the schedule of performances at www.ardmoremusichall.com. The venue is located at the legendary 23 East Lancaster Avenue address in Ardmore, once known for its musical talent. Free parking nearby. For full information and tickets, see their webpage at ardmoremusichall.com. That's ardmoremusichall.com or call 610-649-8389, 610-649. 9389 that webpage again ardmoremusichall.com Are you having a holiday get together or celebration? Music can make your event. Call Music 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 at 484-562-0067. Allow them to provide the music, a DJ, a band, musicians or individuals, choir or gospel. Call Music 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 at 484-562-0067. Again, that's 484-562-0067. The major holidays are almost upon us. Thanksgiving, Christmas, Hanukkah, and New Year's. Are you prepared for your holiday party events and other needs? Call Wims for Rent. They are a professional event planning company and can package your entire business or personal holiday event or simply provide specific needs. They provide entertainment such as DJs or three-piece bands, Christmas carol choirs, or even Santa Claus. Other entertainment possibilities include walk-around magicians, fortune tellers, or look-alike celebrities. They aid large corporate events, smaller business attractions, and family affairs. Just tell them your goals. For a free consultation and free ideas, contact Wimps for Rent at 484-562-0067. Again, that's 484-562-0067. They are located at 29 Bala Ave in Bala Kimwood, Pennsylvania, or visit them on the web at www.phillybizmedia.com. The internet today is a must for businesses and organizations to represent themselves. A must. For the generations of business owners who did not have the advantage of an internet education beginning in grade school, there is basic help. Call American Advertising Services at 484 562 0060. Our organization of marketing personnel, traditional and IT, will set up basic internet advertising aids for your business or organization at a modest fee. Basics. No big deals, no big cost, just basics. Plus a free get to know your goals meeting. Call American Advertising Services at 484 562 0060. That's 484 562 0060. Be with it, or else you will be out of it. Again, call American Advertising Services at 484-562-0060. Need a speaker for your business meeting, organization, social group? Need a speaker who is entertaining, informative, or both? Need a speaker who is an authority on a subject close to your interests? We provide them. We are this region's Speakers Bureau. Call us at 484-562-0067. Yes, yes, we are back. You missed it. We were having an argument, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this guy is talking to me about Florida State. Get Number out one. of here. <laughs> Get out of here. No, 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 Philly. We don't do that. We don't do that. I won't even go into it because it'll really be a conversation that has nothing to do with music talk. But we are back. And the guy that I'd mentioned is Mr. John D. Smitherman. He is the artistic director at the Broadway Theater of Pittman. Where is that, you say? 
Pittman, New Jersey. Go across the bridge, check it out. They've got a lot of things going on. It's a really good time. John, what's going on over there? You're looking at me funny. Am I? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're getting ready to do, to put on a 42nd Street. 42nd yeah. Street. That's going to be a big, big deal. Yeah, it is. It's a, it's a great, big, huge tapping show. Oh, so there's going to be it. a lot of tap dancing, and it's got a great, you know, storyline, you know, trying to get a show up on to Broadway during the Depression. Yeah. And, and just all the, the fun characters that are involved in it. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So those tickets will be, what, through the roof? $50, I guess. No. no? Lower. Very nice. They're $28, you guys. That's not bad at all. $28 for a ticket to see 42nd Street right across the bridge at Pittman, New Jersey. Um, you made a point of saying that those seasonal subscribers oh, yeah. get a, a lower rate because they have got season passes. Yeah, we have a great uh, season subscription thing that, that um, when it comes down to it, it you basically – Saving see the money. shows for about fifteen dollars a show. That's awesome. That's a huge savings. So, in order to do that, I'm assuming you get on the website. Yeah, you get on the website, or you can call. And the website is www.pittmanbroadwaytheater.com. Dot com. Yes, and that's Pittman with one T. Theater T H E A T R E. But I'm sure Google will take care of you if you that's got right. it spelled wrong. Right there on 43 South Broadway is the address to get over there. He said it's really easy if you take the Walt Whitman Bridge. Mm-hmm. And it's really easy to get to. It's not far at all, maybe 20 minutes out. Philly, go check it out. Check it out. See what they've got going on. Make sure you visit the website. Make sure you visit the website. Phone number, please. That's 856-384-8381. That number, once again, is 856 384 8381. You sound like you've done radio before. What's up with that? You know, he's like trying to show me out. Like, really? 848381. So what? <laughs> it's making me look bad on my show. No, 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 not at all. <laughs> not at all. No, we're kidding, you guys. Really, check it out. Check out the website. Give them a call. Good people over there. Good vibes. I can already tell. An amazing artistic director. Not just tune his horn. Obviously, he's a very great, great personality. Oh, Let's talk you. about the artistic director position. Let's go through. What's a typical day like? Like, is every day different? Every single solitary moment <laughs> is different. Every moment? Yes, every moment. There is something happening that's different. Not, you know, good and bad. I mean, there's yeah. there's always a fire to put out here and there. That's just natural in yeah. this business yeah. um, when you're dealing with so many people, right. you know, your incoming casts and directors and and wow. production team and stuff like all of that. Um but are you over all of those people? I yes, I'm yeah. supposed to oversee every aspect of the theater wow. itself. Yeah, that's a big job. Yeah, well, I've got a good crew though, I, and that's what makes it Easier. work best. Yeah, yeah, I've got a great technical director. I, uh, my uh, box office manager handles a lot of the stuff there. House manager, all of that. So, nice. um, most of that yeah. stuff that it, it just it happens. I just have to make sure that it happens. But most of the time, it happens on its own. Is it Monday through group. Friday type of thing? Um, basically have my own hours. Oh, nice. Um, but within reason. Yeah. But um, because there's some things that I can do on you know on the computer at home versus yeah, at the theater, and then there's things like uh, radio interviews I have Yay. to go to, or Absolutely. or there there'll be auditions that we'll have at our audition rehearsal space. I think there's just various. Cool. Tell Sometimes me about I'm that. Sometimes I'm going and grabbing a a set piece for a show. <laughs> you, you don't have a runner to do that for uh, you? No, I'm a hands-on type of artistic director. I admire that. You know, some people, oh, I don't have time for that. Hey, you, intern, come do this. Yeah, no, you well, I mean, I, I find it fun. There's yeah. there's so many aspects of it that I, I really enjoy doing. So That's awesome. Yeah. So you mentioned auditions and performers. So in regards to these shows, you guys hold auditions right there in the theater? We have our auditions usually in the rehearsal space, which is right next door to the theater. Okay. And, um, Don't pay attention and, to Tony. <laughs> and, uh, and, and we have auditions for every show. In fact, uh, our Cats that will be coming up in January, we're having auditions for that. Already? Uh, yeah, a little earlier because of the, going, right. the rehearsals being over the holidays. Oh, yeah, There's, that makes uh, sense. interrupts the rehearsal process. So our, we have auditions for that this coming Saturday and Sunday from 1 till 5. Awesome. How, the, how, what do they do? They just show up? Do they need to well, send their resume? Well, they need a headshot? What, what do we yeah, do? Yeah, they know to have the picture and resume um, and they, they'll come and they'll, they'll sing and they'll have to dance, obviously, for a show like Cats. Yeah, of course. Yeah. That's yeah. fun. So you sit back like Simon on American Idol and like, all right, you know, you absolutely suck. I don't know why you're here. Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> In fact, I even, I even take on that at 
accent there and say, <laughs> this is hideous. <laughs> Doing Wait, here. This is preposterous. Get off the stage. Get out of here. You don't belong at no, that then. No, <laughs> no. We, we actually, we, we have a very relaxed um, audition environment. Cool. I insist on that. Good, because people so, come in yeah. nervous. Like, yeah, of course they do. Shaking. I mean, I'm, I've been on the other side of that. Yeah. So it, I can empathize with it, and I, I want it to be a, a fun experience for people. Absolutely. Versus a terrifying one. So. Do you do you see some of the familiar faces, or is it always different? Well, I mean, I've only been there since January, uh-huh. um, uh, but yes, there are some people that come back Good. regularly, and, and there's some of those people that we actually cast. Yeah. But the probably the most exciting thing um, is there are a lot of new people that are starting to come back, oh, or good. that have or hearing about us for the first time to to audition and be in shows. So our talent pool is increasing. Dramatically, and, and that's probably one of the most exciting things that I've noticed since uh, arriving there in January. Very exciting. Auditions, performers, it's crazy. Tell me this. Um, I remember doing, not really doing Broadway theater, but I do remember like going in attendance, you know, as students. Like we get, like, that's our field trip. Oh, sure. How often do you have the field trips from the students coming to Broadway Theater of Pittman? Well, we actually have an amazing children's theater what? Program, yes, that we. How cute! Yeah, um, like we just did um, Jack and the Beanstalk Aww. just about two weeks ago, and then coming up uh, this uh, tomorrow, actually tomorrow morning and Friday morning, both at ten o'clock a.m. Hey. Um, we're doing a new uh, children's musical based on the book called The Invisible Visible Gift. Interesting. Yeah. So the this will be the Invisible Visible Gift. Yes, this will be the world debut of this. Interesting. Particular show. Interesting. Yeah. I bet the kids enjoy that so they do. much. We, they we love get it. an amazing attendance uh, from the schools and also from just walk ups, especially if we do them on a, a weekend. And you get Absolutely. More yes. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. On average, how many people would you say attend a show? Um, it depends on the show, but yeah. um, as I mentioned, our show, our theater holds a, th- a thousand and one. And, uh, you know, like we did Sound of Music and Hairspray earlier this year, and we were averaging. You know, eight nine hundred people per wow. show. Wow! Yeah, it's 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 an, a wonderful experience. Like I said, both as a performer on the stage to feel that large of an audience watching you, absolutely, and as well as being in part of an audience. I love it. Mm-hmm. How would you compare those theaters to theaters here in Philly? Like I don't know, Walnut Street Theater, maybe. Well, How would you compare our audiences that I talk to them, and uh, the majority of them say that we are. Like Walnut, that would be our, the yeah. the closest. They seat about eight hundred, mm-hmm. um, I think. Am I? I could be way off, so I don't want to say something incorrect. Okay, that's okay. But um, and and we do the same type shows, like the the musicals. And right. Stuff. Sometimes they'll throw in something a little more avant garde or or different, yeah. whereas we stick to the classics. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, John, I'll be honest, I could talk to you all day about mm-hmm. the Broadway Theater of Pittman. It's so exciting. Well, you guys, you. please, please go check out the website, PittmanBroadwayTheater.com. That's one T in Pittman. Theater spelled T-H-E-A-T-R-E. And this segment today has been brought to you by the Publicity and Advertising Division of American Advertising Services. And for absolutely free advertising help, you know, like a consultation, give them a call, 484 562 Zero zero six zero, John. Thank you so much. Thank you, Brittany. It's been a pleasure. Yay! So you'll you'll see me out there. I'll definitely come see Forty Second Street. Yay! Great. Yay! Thank you, guys. Listen up next week. <laughs>